Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, why? Why are we all here? What's out there? And how does it all work? Well, you're certainly not alone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big why. I'm just as curious as you are about the universe and everything in it. From the depths of the ocean to the furthest reaches of space, no question is too big, no topic too strange for us. We'll crack open the mysteries of black holes, journey to the edge of the universe, and explore the mind-blowing discoveries that are changing our world. So if you're ready to unleash your inner scientist, ask the tough questions, and explore the universe alongside me, then buckle up, and let's ask why. The evolution of human consciousness is one of the most profound mysteries of our existence. How did our ancestors, once simply primates navigating the savannas of Africa, evolve into the complex, creative, and self-aware beings we are today? While mainstream theories focus on factors like tool use, social cooperation, and environmental pressures, the stoned ape theory offers a more unconventional and controversial explanation, the ingestion of psychedelic mushrooms. In this video, we'll delve into the intriguing world of the stoned ape theory, exploring its origins, its central claims, and the scientific evidence that supports or challenges it. We'll examine how the consumption of psilocybin mushrooms, a naturally occurring psychedelic compound, could have potentially played a role in the rapid expansion of the human brain in the emergence of language, art, religion, and other hallmarks of human culture. Whether you're a curious anthropologist, a psychedelic enthusiast, or simply someone fascinated by the mysteries of human evolution, this exploration promises to challenge your assumptions and spark a deeper appreciation for the potential role of psychedelics in shaping the course of human history. And who knows? Perhaps by revisiting this controversial theory, we can gain a fresh perspective on the evolution of consciousness and the factors that have made us uniquely human. The stoned ape theory proposed by Terence McKenna presents a fascinating yet controversial hypothesis about the evolution of human consciousness. McKenna suggests that the consumption of psilocybin mushrooms, a type of psychedelic fungi, played a pivotal role in the cognitive leap that transformed our ancestors from the Homo erectus to Homo sapiens. According to this theory, the ingestions of these mushrooms around 100,000 years ago triggered a cascade of neurological and psychological changes, leading to enhanced creativity, language development, social bonding, and ultimately, the emergence of complex human consciousness. McKenna drew upon the research of Roland L. Fisher, a psychopharmacologist who studied the effects of psilocybin in the 1960s and 70s. He believed that the cognitive and perceptual shifts observed in Fisher's studies mirrored the mental strides made by early humans during the cognitive revolution. However, McKenna's theory has been met with widespread skepticism and criticism from the scientific community. Many scientists argue that the theory lacks empirical evidence and is based on a flawed interpretation of Fisher's research. They point to the lack of archaeological evidence for widespread mushroom consumptions by early humans, as well as the potential dangers and risks associated with psychedelic use. Furthermore, critics argue that McKenna's theories oversimplifies the complex process of human evolution. Attributing a single factor, the consumption of psilocybin mushrooms, to the emergence of a wide range of cognitive and behavioral changes. They suggest that a more holistic approach, considering a combination of factors such as tool use, social cooperation, and environmental pressures, is necessary to fully understand the evolution of human consciousness. Despite its controversial nature, the stoned ape theory continues to capture the imagination and spark debate. It challenges us to consider the potential role of psychedelics in human history and their possible influence on the development of consciousness consciousness, spirituality, and culture. While the theory remains largely unsupported by scientific evidence, it serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still surround the evolution of the human mind and the enduring quest to understand what makes us uniquely human. In his book, Food of the Gods, Terence McKenna paints a picture of how the stoned ape theory might unfold. He begins by describing the environmental pressures that faced our early ancestors in Africa. As the climate change and desertification spread, humans were forced to adapt, venturing into the shrinking tropical forests in search of food and shelter. McKenna suggests that in these forests, Forests, early humans followed herds of cattle, whose dung attracted insects, a common part of their diet at the time. These dung piles also provided the ideal environment for the growth of psychedelic mushrooms, a species known for its psychoactive properties due to the presence of psilocybin. McKenna theorizes that as early humans forged for food, they would have inevitably encountered these mushrooms, and driven by their omnivorous nature, consumed them. The ingestion of psilocybin, he argues, triggers a series of cognitive and perceptual shifts that had a profound impact on human evolution. 
According to McKenna, psilocybin acted as an evolutionary catalyst, enhancing visual acuity, improving pattern recognition, and stimulating the imagination. These effects, he suggests, gave early humans an advantage in hunting and gathering, allowing them to locate food sources more efficiently and adapt to changing environmental conditions. Moreover, McKenna posits that psilocybin also fostered social bonding and cooperation as it facilitated communication, empathy, and a sense of shared experience. This, in turn, led to the development of language, art, religion, and other complex cultural practices that distinguish us from other primates. In essence, McKenna's theory proposes that the ingestion of psychedelic mushrooms was a pivotal moment in human evolution, sparking a cognitive revolution that propelled us towards the development of language, imagination, spirituality, and ultimately, the complex consciousness we possess today. To support his stoned ape theory, McKenna turned to the research of Roland L. Fisher, a Hungarian-American psychopharmacologist who studied the effects of psilocybin in the 1960s and 70s. McKenna claimed that Fisher's findings on the cognitive and perceptual effects of psilocybin and mirrored the mental strides made by early humans during their evolutionary leap. Here's how McKenna interpreted those findings. One being enhanced visual acuity. McKenna proposed that small doses of psilocybin could improve visual acuity, particularly in edge detection. This enhanced vision would have given early primates a significant advantage in hunting, leading to a more reliable food supply and increased chances of survival and reproduction. And number two, increased libido, attention, and energy. At slightly higher doses, McKenna believed that psilocybin could boost libido, attention, and energy levels, further contributing to reproductive success. This heightened arousal and focus would have enhanced mating opportunities and the overall fitness of individuals within the group. And number three, social bonding and genetic diversity. At even higher doses, McKenna theorized that psilocybin could promote stronger social bonds and cohesion within early human communities. He also suggested that it could have led to increased group sexual activity, resulting in greater genetic diversity and a wider range of adaptive traits within the population. Number four, language development. McKenna also argued that psilocybin could stimulate activity in the language forming regions of the brain, fostering the development of complex communication and abstract thought. He believed that the vivid visions and heightened sensory experiences induced by psilocybin could have enriched the vocalizations and gestures of early humans, eventually leading to the emergence of language. And number five, spiritual and religious impulse. McKenna further suggested that psilocybin could dissolve the boundaries of the ego, promoting a sense of oneness and interconnectedness with the natural world. This, he believed, could have been the catalyst for the development of religious and spiritual beliefs as early humans sought to explain and understand their profound psychedelic experiences. While McKenna's stoned ape theory primarily focuses on the role of psilocybin mushrooms, some proponents of the broader idea that psychedelics played a role in human evolution have suggested alternative candidates. One such alternative is DMT, a powerful psychedelic compound found in various plants and used in traditional shamanic practices like ayahuasca ceremonies. Studies have shown that DMT can induce intense and profound mystical experiences, often accompanied by feelings of interconnectedness and a sense of transcending the boundaries of the self. Some researchers have proposed that DMT, rather than psilocybin, could have been the catalyst for the cognitive revolution in early humans. They point to evidence suggesting that DMT can increase trait openness, a personality trait associated with creativity, curiosity, and a willingness to explore new ideas. Furthermore, DMT has been shown to enhance visual acuity and stimulate interest in abstract concepts, both of which could have conferred evolutionary advantages to early humans. This has led some to hypothesize that the ingestion of DMT containing plants or brews might have played a significant role in the development of human consciousness, language, and culture. However, it's important to note that psilocin, the active metabolite of psilocybin, is structurally similar to DMT. Moreover, the pharmacological effects of oral ayahuasca, a traditional psychedelic brew containing DMT, are remarkably similar to those of psilocybin mushrooms. This suggests that the distinction between psilocybin and DMT may not be as significant as initially thought, and that both substances could have potentially contributed to the cognitive evolution of early humans. The debate over which specific psychedelic might have played a role in human evolution remains open. While the stoned ape theory focuses primarily on psilocybin, the potential contributions of other psychedelics such as DMT cannot be discounted. Future research and discoveries may shed further light on the complex relationship between psychedelics and the evolution of the human mind.
The stoned ape theory, while intriguing and captivating, has faced significant criticism from the scientific community. Many scientists have dismissed McKenna's ideas as overly speculative and lacking empirical evidence. They argue that his theory is built on a foundation of assumptions and interpretations that are not supported by archaeological or anthropological data. One major criticism centers on McKenna's reliance on Roland L. Fisher's research. While Fisher's studies on the effects of psilocybin offered valuable insights into the potential of psychedelics to induce altered states of consciousness, critics argue that McKenna misinterpreted and extrapolated these findings to fit his own narrative. They contend that the cognitive and perceptual shifts observed in Fisher's studies cannot be directly equated with the evolutionary changes that led to the emergence of modern human consciousness. Additionally, critics point to the lack of concrete archaeological evidence for widespread mushroom consumption by early humans. While there are some depictions of mushrooms in prehistoric art, there's no definitive proof that these were specifically psilocybin mushrooms or that they were consumed for the psychoactive properties. Furthermore, the stoned ape theory is challenged by the existence of cultures that have used psychedelic substances for centuries without experiencing the kind of evolutionary leap that McKenna described. For example, the Aztecs and various Amazonian tribes have long incorporated psychedelics into their spiritual and cultural practices, but their societies have not developed the same technological and cognitive advancements as those seen in Western cultures. This suggests that while psychedelics might have played a role in shaping human consciousness and culture, they were likely not the sole or even primary driving force behind these developments. The stoned ape theory, despite its captivating narrative, remains a controversial and largely unsupported hypothesis. While it highlights the potential role of psychedelics in human evolution, it's crucial to approach this theory with a critical eye and recognize the limitations of the evidence currently available. We've ventured into the mind-expanding realm of the stoned ape theory, exploring its controversial claims, its potential implications for human evolution, and the criticisms it has faced from the scientific community. We've examined Terence McKenna's arguments, his reliance on Roland Fisher's research, and the lack of concrete evidence to support his hypothesis. While the stoned ape theory remains a fascinating and thought-provoking idea, it's important to recognize its speculative nature and the limitations of the evidence currently available. It's a reminder that the evolution of human consciousness is a complex and multifaceted process, likely influenced by a multitude of factors, not just the ingestion of psychedelic mushrooms. If this exploration has sparked your curiosity, I encourage you to delve deeper into the research on psychedelics, human evolution, and the origins of consciousness. Explore the works of Terence McKenna, Roland Fisher, and other scientists and thinkers who have contributed to this ongoing debate. Consider the potential role of psychedelics in shaping human culture and spirituality, and the ethical and scientific implications of their use. And who knows, perhaps by questioning the prevailing narratives and exploring alternative perspectives, we can gain new insights into the mysteries of human evolution and the factors that have made us uniquely human. The journey to understand our origins and the development of consciousness is an ongoing one, and the stoned ape theory, while controversial, serves as a reminder of the boundless possibilities that lie within the realm of scientific inquiry and human imagination. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.